Hello, welcome to 18 TV. It is gone really cold. I'm going dog spring. HRS is loading up, he's gone delivery. Ty is cars here, Tom Ty, cars here, there in the Bailey factory. Big boss man is out and about in his uh, No, he's not out and about, he must be in the office. So, it is a Monday, fresh morning. And jobs have changed. So, ads will go dung spread as soon as he goes, gets back from his delivery. Uh, I, I will be, when I get this thing in the right gear, I will be getting dung out. First, poor call is clear out the yard, and then at some point in the next week or two weeks, I'll get out on the compost and get that moving. As well, on top of everything else. So, spread it as a go. So we're basically, the weather forecast is giving us rain for another two weeks after this. Gate don't shut with the wind. So we are getting a load of dung out before the weather really comes in whilst it's dry and basically I'm doing all the landlocked fields. Uh, if you don't understand what landlocked fields are, it is fields that we have to travel across a field to get to the field, to said field. Um, and that usually makes a bloody great mess when it is raining. So that then leaves just the road fields, or fields that are joined to roads, that can be done as and when even if it's wet because we can like nip in just do a load per field without really tearing up gateways and stuff like that and then there's a great big heap of bedding material that Ty has brought down from the shed or the factory shed which will go in there in a second give it a little shake Jobs are good. Shall we go? They'll shake that about. Open back there, okay, so they can come in if they want to. Everyone loves a rusty old bit of bar to propagate them. Or a piece of wood. So, I should have been spreading dung yet myself hrs and tom are up relining the belt which is there there's the belt twisted off so we're basically back fixing the shed which we don't like fixing anything in the shed do we oh, so, like fixing anything, to be quite honest. so he's not very happy i've done pretty much hardly any of what i plan to do with spread dung and the factory's done not as much as it should have because this belt has been a bitch, basically. So, another week full of problems. Do you want to explain more of what you've done? I don't really care anymore, Justin, to be quite honest. Oh, come on, you can't be the same character as you were last week. What? Well, you were grumpy last week, so you yeah, can't... grumpy again. Well, because you're doing this? Yeah. Would you, would you like to describe what's going on here? The belt's going around. Right, don't, just don't, I, I've not got patience for you today on this one. So the belt's going around, so yeah. the, it's stretched basically. It's ripped, it's dragged crop underneath, and it flipped over. So we flipped it all over, let all the adjustment off, flipped it all over. All this side was seized, and the threads had all gone in the uh, threaded bar. So we renewed all that, uh, measured everything, so it's the same distance this side it is that side. So at the moment, as you can see, the belt staying centrally and not moving like we want to do. So that's good. Hang on, just saying something behind the camera. What are you saying? What? Good job. But you're supposed to say like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe if you want to. Finally, actually finished doing some dunk spreading for the day. Two fields covered. One on the bottom of here. 
both of these are to the hardest fields for us to get through in the winter because we've got no road access it's always going across fields so they're done and it's still wet because if you look at the gateway it's getting chewed up and i've only i've only been in here four times and it's chewing right up bit of a uh, tarmac many gateways that have been done and still everything's chewed up another load of dung going out and HRS is off the trimmer again as well one more dry day and basically we're both trying to get as much field done Factory's going because tire top in there. I've got three hours until I'm on a shift in the factory for a couple of hours. And we're waiting for a motorist to work out how to reverse. Bless them. Steel. There's literally a Mini Cooper in front of me and it is struggling to reverse. Isn't that embarrassing? But hey ho. Anyway, I was going to do Walt Meadows down in the bit of block ground to my right. I'm going to do some landlocked dung spreading land over the next valley over. Uh, this will be the last load there. And then I've got one other load which I'm going to stick out today before I go on a delivery. Uh, and yeah, fingers crossed, everything, everything is done before it rains. I think we've got rain coming tonight which then is going to slow us down on field work for a bit and HRS has already sorted out a large proportion of road hedges so it means that holds him up for a little while until it's next dry enough to get on the ground So, slight mishap kind of underneath the trees um, This tree is decided to stay with me Now, I finished running my load thinking it might fall off but it hasn't So, plan B to see if I drop it off. Now something after the whole thing. I'm hoping if I drop it off, it's going to fall away. steps which is a bit annoying but as I'm in here I'll clear it yeah, not ideal but it's what's happened It doesn't want to bugger off. Ugh. Oh, that smaller stuff gets chipped up. Just as easy. Plus, be good for the ground. All right, so that's off and down there. There was a fair tree limb, to be honest. Now, just dig out the steps, which I've sort of grown in. Voila. Now, the only one I just don't get, I don't understand. 
like my bunning put that bottom one there like that one's that one's more than enough that one always gets caked and catches everything and keeps it in so now i've seen all these bits the big limb over there i i will come down with a chainsaw and cut up the big limb and take the wood away. Then HRS, I'll notify him that there is a load of tree limbs down here and when he comes down here trimming he will just drop the flail on the top of them and make them vanish. Always a nice sight afterwards. Just chilling guys. You having fun then? Come on. Nope. This is her last day on the farm. She's going for beef. She's stubborn. Being stubborn? Yeah. She's good. Right. Twist her tail. Right. Right. Push. Go on. So, she's off to Avatar. That's the beginning of my morning today. At some point, there's chickens going as well from the original chicken bunch. They've been sold. Ugh. So it's all go. And the chickens is more of a just helps pay for the new ones. So for once it's actually not windy up here and I can film nicely. Got asked the other day why we have electric fence around the outside perimeter of the chicken trawler. And basically that is so we know where the eggs are. We actually got a fighting chance of finding the eggs because without being electrified, they will get out with the old bunch. This is obviously the new bunch. And they end up going off, especially chickens love hedgerows and they'll go and lay in hedgerows. So this keeps us a parameter, yeah, of where the chickens stay in. And if you're wondering why the old chickens got out, the old chickens got out because we had an accident where the net went through the back of the quad bike and split it and it never joined up properly. So this is a brand new net, so it's all electrified again. So eggs are either possibly in the outdoor pen in the laying box, in the floor underneath, or underneath the trailer. And every time we move the trailer, we find those, and everything else is easy enough to find anyway. So that's why that's electrified for, I can't remember who was in the comment, it was asked, so I thought I'd answer the question. Today's job, head trimming. Now, I'm gonna make a bit of a difference with the sun out, to be quite honest with you. There's nothing worse than head trimming when the sun's out like this. Absolutely hate it. You're always trying to find a hedge, that is away from the sun, and especially when you get all the crap over the glass as well, from all the flails and all that, makes it even worse. Oh, look at these edges. Look at these tidy edges, look. I'm just praising myself because no one else praises me, and I'm very, very anal of my road edges. Now, I'm not going to say I'm perfect, though, and I'm not going to say they're the best, but they are pretty bloody good. Yep, yeah, go back, me lover. along our top road and do a better road and there's no way we'll get to the field. No, we have come off pretty lucky to be quite honest with you because we haven't had the rain like most of the UK has had. I mean the poor buggers up in Scotland I mean and, and Ireland as well have had some rain and it's absolutely unbelievable from the footage you see. Now I speak to Liam uh, who, who was Case Farms on YouTube. I speak to him quite a bit and last night they had so much rain, most of their fields were under um, water. So we're very lucky, we've had a bit of rain, as you can see, but nothing, still too wet to get in the field, but nothing like the most of the UK's had. We're very, very lucky to get away from it. Because the, the yellow warning actually come down, I think it was as far as uh, Birmingham, or something like that. But anyway, poor buggers, and I do feel for you. So anyway, let's get on to something positive, and let's cut some hedges. This would have potentially been the third car. Okay. 
gateway like this. So this gateway is not done still. So electric fencer and putting a wire across is what I've been doing for the last two years. So simple wire cutting these two fields off. So they'll concentrate on grazing this, even though there's like nothing, nothing in there. So they haven't really got much reason. Okay, more going out. Compost, compost is looking absolutely lovely. We come and have a close look here. Bit of heat in it, always gonna be, but it's black. There's no real sign of the white mold. That's all gone. I'm only doing as far as this pile. That pile will go once it's turned again, and it'll go out again. Bunning is shredding through it, because it doesn't take much. Best thing compost, it actually just goes out like confetti, apart from you just got to drive like crazy. Uh, it probably takes half the time to spread it as it does load, which on dung is a bit more the other way around. It's like double the time it like, takes load. So that's going out. The wood guys were over chainsawing, or they were a second ago. Now, this lot, this first lot, I'm going to explain something now, which loads is going to be like, poof, off your heads, or over your heads. This lot we're just putting out. The next lot, we're going to put out adding an IMO. An IMO is intelligent microorganisms. It's a bit like anyone that saw the smart soil on Tom Pemberton's, apart from you can make it for free. And I'll show you, how I'll, well, I'll explain how that's done when that second lot goes out. So we're having a bit of an experiment. We've seen results of just compost and then results of compost plus IMO, which is, you'll have effects like fertilizer for putting it simply that you'll get more growth without having to spend a lot of money, basically. I'm just trimming the edge now it's on the other side of the sun because I've just done that side of the road a bit but it was like Stevie Wonder trimming a hedge to be honest. Couldn't see a thing, especially with all the, like I said, flails and everything that's hit the, gra um, the glass yesterday when it's wet so I couldn't see anything at all. So I don't even want to look at the hedge that I've just trimmed now. Probably a little bit all over the place. But I do like doing my road edges, it just... I want people when they drive past to go, I wonder who did that edge? It's a bloody good edge. But they probably don't, they probably say, what a bloody mess that is. But well, at least I try, that's the main thing, I do try and cut a decent edge. Field hedges, especially like blocks of fields, I'm not, not too worried, as long as it's all trimmed, tidy, that is all I'm worried about, but road hedges, different kettle of fish. I will go down a gear doing a road edge as well to make sure and I won't be afraid to go over it twice either. The tops. But one thing I do miss about this trimmer, well about our old trimmer actually, is this one we use in F10s and I did miss using the F14s because apparently because we've got the 1.5 meter head now we can use the F14s on this big head because apparently it actually makes the rotor out of balance over time. So now, when it comes brand new, they're putting F10s in. I mean, when it's out of warranty, you can do what you like anyway, but um, I do, F10s I do think are great for finishing, and they do, but they do break easy. Um, but the F14s just rip through everything. But it does tend to sometimes take the power out of the rotor anyway. There's, there's pros and cons to both of them, but I do prefer the F40s. They're much heavy due to flail and they just rip through everything. HRS doing the work the council should do, but he's taking it on himself that he wants it all to tidy up around here. Yeah, no problem. 
up a <coughs> field of cure if you get what I mean. To get his compost put on, pretty winter, low time for a breakdown. And he's getting his head trimmed all the same time. So, yeah, we're getting on with it. HRS, in my camera, is going to appear right there. Also, hope you're, hope you're enjoying the drone footage. Right now. But, yeah, compost, we could just do with so much more of it. Because it's, with the high, higher level of carbon, it's really, really useful. Realise I turned too sharp, too fast, and it went and carved it up. That's annoying. Steady down on this turn. The thing is, with filming footage on something like this, I'm not in the field very long because spreading at 10.5k. So yeah, I'm not just not just not here very long. Mm. I should have done two sweeps ahead and not over it. Get on with, or if you can, because Polly's going run that's flooded, not a lot. That is oh, condolences to everyone that's flooded because the amount of rain that some of you have had in the last few days is absolutely mental like, proper ridiculous. flooded is, yeah, that is not fun at all. We're lucky in one aspect that our farm's basically all hilly, so for us to flood, there'd be a big part of the valley that would be serious, serious trouble. When it's wet, it just way messier than normal. Like if it's if it's dry, it's hard I hardly ever have to do it. When it's wet, it gets done like all the time. Um, it's just better for them, it keeps them cleaner, nice yard, better to look at, blah 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 blah. So I've just done that. Uh, I am going to chill out for the rest of today and watch rugby later on. So fingers crossed. I even think I want South Africa to win at the moment. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy with this England squad personally. I wish Fiji won. Fiji play rugby in such an amazing way. I wish they won, but hey, didn't happen. Anyway, I would like to say thank you a lot for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next video with HRS. If you haven't yet done so, please hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up. That would be most appreciated. If you want to find any more of us, you can find Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And basically. Have a good next week. Cheers.